if you kind of look here as we go through, the Samsung is very strong when reloading applications. It really, the OnePlus is on another level in this area. Watch this. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and following up on the One UI 8.5 versus iOS 26 animations content we did previously, I wanna take a look here at Oxygen OS 16 for the OnePlus 15 and we're gonna take a look at its animations and how they stack up next to that of One UI 8.5. Now this is beta three, um, but the only reason I'm covering it now, even though it is in beta, is because it's already performing quite well. So we're gonna go ahead and start by looking at just how they kind of scroll on the home screens. We're gonna see how they operate there. Now, so here we, here, here we are on the home screens and you can see as we swipe through, it's really kind of tough to see, but the Samsung kind of flies just a little bit more uh, through these pages. It just kind of like snaps into the next page. Very, very minute detail. You have to look a little bit closer, but the OnePlus, kind of has a little bit more of a fluid feel going through the page. It's just something very small. You won't notice it too much, but Samsung just feels like it's flying through that page. Now, one thing on Oxygen OS 16 and the OnePlus 15 specifically, you could probably do this on some other phones as well, but you'll see right here at the bottom, you do have different transitions you can do, like cube, flip, card. You used to only be able to get this on you know launchers and stuff, but you have this option here if you wanna go ahead and change that. Now that would totally change this test. You can't even do that on the Samsung uh, from One UI. Specifically, you could do it by installing, you know, different, you could do this on basically any Android phone, but uh, you'll have to do a little bit more to get that, like download a couple things, uh, play around with the Samsung a little bit more. Whereas with the OnePlus, you could just do this straight from the Oxygen OS. All right guys, so here we are, and we're gonna go ahead on the home screen and click a few apps. We're not looking for speed. What we're looking for is how their animations look. So let's click calculator there and swiping out. We'll go into Play Store and swiping out. And to me, the Samsung seems to launch the app a little bit faster, whereas the OnePlus looks a little bit more fluid. Um, when I say faster, I'm talking about the animation. The animation looks like it's trying to pop open quicker on the left over there. Whereas on this device, it just kind of feels a little bit more like fluid. So if you like a fluid feel to your device, visually pleasing, I'm kind of leaning towards the animations on Oxygen OS 16 over here on the OnePlus. So yeah, as we go through these, you're just gonna find a little bit more of a, I would say just a little bit more visually pleasing look on the OnePlus, although the Samsung is very good as well. We'll show some relaunch of those applications in a minute, but I wanna showcase Something you could do really easily on both of these, just hit animations and settings, just right in animations. And you'll see under system and update, OnePlus will show you right here. You can actually change these scales to turn these off entirely. It's easier to turn these off on the Samsung by just going to settings, type in over here at the very bottom search bar on One UI 8.5, just type animations and you just have to click reduce animations. It basically turns them off as well. And when this happens, the phones are near identical. So you could see zero difference right there. Basically, they just blink things open right away. And then it just comes down to raw speed. But at the same time, they're both Android devices. So you can basically get away with that on both of them. And uh, both of them feel about the same speed uh, when it comes to that respect. Now, I don't tend to prefer that that type of mode because to me it just looks it looks kind of like glitchy it just doesn't look right to me i like animations on the device so i tend to turn them back on but the oneplus device has one other trick up its sleeve if we go over here to settings and you go over here to the animations on the home screen lock screen style this section right here you'll see they also give you fingerprint animations but the animation effect here you can change this to standard which actually slows it down a bit but it looks maybe even more visually pleasing to some. Now I would actually put that more in like an iOS kind of look when you go to that mode. So I like to leave it on enhanced because it just looks to me a little bit nicer. So I leave on the enhanced animation, but generally, like I say, the Samsung phone kind of feels like it just animates the stuff a little bit. It's, it's like going for speed and smooth, not just, uh, not just smooth. So it has both. Whereas the OnePlus is super fast as well. Let's not get it twisted. Um, but 
it kind of you can tell they pay attention to like the app just looking nice when it goes in between. And I think it does a better job at consistency. I find the Samsung not quite as consistent uh, when it comes to daily use of animations as the OnePlus. And no one's really gonna do this in reality, but I do it for testing purposes. If you kind of look here as we go through, the Samsung is very strong when reloading applications. It really has zero issues whatsoever. But the OnePlus is on another level in this area. Watch this. I mean, this app can like literally stop before you even get to it. So this is actually even better than the Samsung at reloading things very fast. So if you need very fast loading speed, um, and kind of going back through the recents page, you'll see the OnePlus does a fantastic job in that respect on Oxygen 16. You'll see that the Samsung does a good job here as well. Let's see how they look when they kind of come up into that animation, which one does that better. Again, it looks like the Samsung going for that speed over there, whereas the OnePlus bouncing in a little bit slower, but potentially better looking visuals. So let's go ahead and go like that. And you'll see Samsung kind of combining smooth and speed. So some people are gonna love that. Some people are gonna prefer the more bouncy, a little bit more, you know, fluid feel of OnePlus. I feel like OnePlus is very fluid. That's like the best way I could describe it. Samsung feels very fast and smooth. That would be my best description currently of these two software right here. Let's take a look at the recent menus transitions now. So when we go over here, when you swipe through, it kind of looks identical. Of course, you know, when you go to good lock, you can change your recents menu to a tablet style. If you want, you could change it to different styles, but this is the one they come with out of the box. And if we swipe through them, looks to me like Samsung, you can see Samsung still feels like it's flying over very fast to the next page. OnePlus feels like it's kind of just gliding. It's just very fluid. So it's, it's kind of very small differences. They're not massive, um, but they are something. I do like how Samsung is putting my recent apps down there though. So let's take a look at the notifications tray as well as the animation for the quick panel. So you can see Samsung just kind of flying in there once again. Can you see that? Like you can't see that. You seen that bounce right there on the OnePlus? Look at this. So that just kind of flies down. OnePlus bounces. Now that bouncy fluid feel, you, you notice this every day. Like it makes the phone feel super slick. Um, the Samsung though, you notice its speed as well. When you're trying to get things done, uh, people are going to love the One UI. It's really, really strong in that department. You'll see over here as we pull down on the right there on the OnePlus, we also do see another bouncing there, uh, kind of like a little bounce in right there on the OnePlus. If we go over here, we swipe through pretty smooth. We can pull that down. That's also pretty smooth on the Samsung, very fluid uh, to react right there. So no substantial issues and no substantial issues here. So I'm still seeing though that faster scroll and that faster feel to the Samsung and I'm seeing more of a fluid feel to the OnePlus. I'm gonna keep hammering that point home because I just seen it here once again within the quick panel animations and notifications. Now, when it comes to you know swiping them away, it's not gonna be that much different. You could swipe either way. But when it comes to the backgrounds, they're both translucent. The Samsung seems a little bit more so OnePlus on their notification tray seems like it's not quite as translucent as the one on the left. However, when we talk about pulling down from the left, you can pull down the shelf on the Oxygen OS 16. So that's that's a feature set right there. Over here, it's just gonna go straight to the notifications. Now between One UI 8.5 and Oxygen, I did notice one difference here when it comes to unlocking. The applications actually fly in on the OnePlus. So they fly in there. A little bit more like iOS, I would say. Let's go over here. They kind of just fly in like that. They're very smooth and fluid. And they do the same thing whether you're on the fingerprint or you're on this one. Now the Samsung on One UI tends to, it tends to fly like towards you. So you'll see right here, it comes at you. So for me personally, I actually prefer the oxygen on this, on this take. Uh, it just doesn't feel very natural for the apps to come at me versus just flying out. Cause if I'm looking down and the apps are going down. That just feels a little bit more natural. I'm not saying it's a big deal. Of course, we're just looking at a small detail here. Um, but the Samsung one to me doesn't look as smooth coming at me versus the way the OnePlus flies out. You know, just kind of like naturally you're looking down, apps flow out. So to me, that's a little bit more fluid and natural feeling. 
but the Samsung is like it's ready to go. It's like here, let's go. Here's your apps. You get what? Here, here's your apps. Let's go. Let's get into what we're doing. So I like the Samsung when it comes to productivity and speed. Everything about it just feels like let's get some stuff done. You know what I'm saying? That's just kind of the feel I get with the animations, the productivity, the software, the customization, the features. It's just a let's get stuff done phone. That's just the way it is to me. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the keyboard animation. You'll see the Samsung. I noticed the Samsung one always pops up first. That Samsung keyboard launches quicker every single time than the OnePlus. But overall, that keyboard animation is about the same on both. So there's no substantial difference there. Now we go ahead and take a look at the rotations. Let's take a look at the rotation animations here on both phones. So we'll go ahead and rotate here and you'll see, there we go. Not a substantial difference, if any at all. Maybe the OnePlus still looking a little bit more of a fluid look. Hold on, let's just do this one at a time so I don't drop these phones. You'll see right there flying over back to the edge. Let's take a look over here on this phone. Okay, I see a difference. Do you see it? The OnePlus kind of fluidly just gliding. I just bumped the arm. Gliding, gliding into the page. You'll see Samsung kind of trying to do that same thing we talked about before. Just trying to be fast. It got a little bit choked up there on that one. Yeah, Samsung looking like a little bit of a snappier animation there. OnePlus fluid. For sure. And they, they've talked about that in the marketing about the oxygen OS being fluid, but I like the Samsung for speed. I really do. I think for productivity, which is something you want your smartphone to do, I'm preferring the one UI 8.5 for sure. If I'm trying to get things done. Split screen multitasking. You got it on both. You got floating windows here as well. Um, but that Samsung feel you know, with their overclock galaxy chip, their animations, the way they are very fast. This is probably the best phone for productivity, the S series devices. And the Ultra Coming is probably going to be no exception. And let's take a look at app folder behavior. As you see, when I pop into these folders, this area, let's see. Do we still have that faster feel on Samsung? Here, I don't see a substantial difference. Now, we can go ahead and shrink and enlarge these folders. But with the OnePlus, you can actually change what appears on the icons, like you can see right there. You could probably do this on Samsung with some customizations, but just by default, it just kind of shows them like that. And you'll see overall, if we shrink those folders, it's essentially doing the same thing. So I don't see any major differences with app folder behavior. Okay, so let's take a look at their charging animation. So let me go ahead and just go like that. And you'll see that's what the Samsung looks like right there. And let's go ahead and do the OnePlus now. So let me just put this charger in here. And you'll see they give you this large visual an animation here when you're warp charging as well it's going to show how fast it's charging so one plus uh, 15 animation here definitely a lot nicer i would say uh, doesn't mean it's better but it's pretty big and large and it shows you exact percentages so i tend to prefer that uh, for charging anyway i also prefer the one plus for its actual charging speeds they're also fantastic as well so that's something to keep in mind. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. But before we do so, let's just go ahead and launch those cameras. I always got to do that for sure. So I got my little OnePlus Shiba Inu here. So let's go ahead and back this out a little bit. And we'll go ahead and launch these cameras on both. Go ahead and launch these cameras in three, two, go. And you can see, I think the OnePlus was a little faster. Yeah, a little bit faster. But in terms of actual animations, they're basically not that much different. You're not you're not going to see substantial differences there. So wrapping it up, animations wise, One UI 8.5, Beta 3, man, this thing's performing excellent. Samsung is going for speed and smooth. I think if you're looking for speed, some of the fastest phones on the planet, the Galaxies with their overclock CPUs, their One UIs are just super fast. Uh, super fast, but also fluid nonlinear animations also make them feel fluid while operating day to day. So I think a lot of people are going to love that one plus if you want an Android phone that feels ultra fluid and has visually pleasing animations, I think you should look no further than the one plus. It's definitely one of the most visually pleasing phones to use on the Android side while being more consistent, I think, with those animations than even iOS. So both of them 
uh, really, really good. Let me know your thoughts, which you would pick down below, Oxygen OS 16 animations or One UI 8.5 Beta 3. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know if you wanna see similar videos with some other devices like maybe the Pixels user interface or maybe Nothing OS, maybe even Honor, you know, Magic OS. Let me know if you wanna see some stuff like that down below in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.